Hey learners, Pranshi Verma the site. Welcome to my channel guys. In today's YouTube session, we are going to learn Android Development Interview Question and Answer for your any interview preparation guys. Guys, this video is very very important for any interview purposes. Now, let's begin. And this, your first question is, what is Android? Okay, this is very important question. Answer is Android is a stack of software for mobile devices. Okay, Android is a stack of software for mobile devices which includes an operating system, middleware, and some key applications. Okay, so in Android includes an operating system, middleware and some keys of applications okay the application executes within its own process and its own instance of dalvik virtual machine dvm okay guys next question describe android application architecture so android application architecture has the following components are included and they are first one services okay so first component of android architecture is services in this it will perform back perform background functionalities in android studio okay next component is intent it will perform the interconnection between activities and the data passing mechanism okay this is very important component of the android application architecture next component is resource externalization this included all strings and graphics of your application of your android application okay jo bhi strings and graphics aap apne android application development mein use karte hain wo they all are included in resource externalization okay Next component is notification. In this, light, sound, icons, notifications, dialog box, and toast, and many more. Okay, so they all are the part of notification in Android application architecture. Next component is content providers. It includes it will share the data between applications. Okay, guys, content providers. share the data between the applications okay this is all about android application architecture now let's proceed on next question next question what is an activity answer is activity performs action on the screen if you want to do any operations we can do with activity in android studio okay next question What is the APK format? Answer is the Android packaging key in compressed with classes, UIs means user interfaces, supported supportive assets and manifest. Okay, all files are compressed to to a single file is called APK. APK stands for Android Application Package. Okay, next question. What is an intent? It's connected to either the external world of application or internal world of application such as opening a PDF is an intent and connect to the web browser etc. Okay so they all are the example of an intent and it's basically work for it's connected to either the external world of application or internal world of applications okay next question what is an explicit intent answer is android explicit intent specifies the component to be invoked from activity in other words we can call another activity in another by explicit intent okay next question What is an implicit intent? Answer is implicit intent doesn't specify the components. In such cases, intent provides information of available components provided by the system that is to be invoked. Okay. Next question. 
What is an Android manifest file? Answer is every application must have an Android manifest.xml file with precisely that name in its root directory. Okay. The manifest file present essential information about your app to the Android system and information the system must have before it can run any of the app's code. Okay. So manifest file dot XML file in its root directory of any application. Okay. Next question. What language does Android support to develop an application? Answer is Android applications has written using the Java, Android SDK and C, C, C++, Android NDK and now Android support Kotlin language also. Okay. So Android support Java and Kotlin and C++, C and C++ ko to bahut pehle support karta tha guys. So nowadays Android support Kotlin and Java. Okay. Next question. What to do ADT stands for? Answer is ADT stands for Android Development Tool. This is useful to develop the application and test the applications. Okay. So ADT is used for testing the application in Android Studio. Next question. What are the tools are placed in an Android SDK? Answer is Android SDK collaborated with Android Emulator. DDBMS, DDMS means Dalvik Debug Monitoring Services and AAPT stands for Android Assets Packaging Tool and ABD, ABD stands for Android Debug Bridge. Okay, so they all are included in Android SDK. Next question, what is view group in Android? Answer is View group is a collection of views and other child views. It's an invisible part and the base class of class for layouts. Okay. View group is a collection of views and other child views. Okay. In the Android Studio. Next question. What is a service in Android? Answer is the service is like as an activity to, back, to do background functionalities without UI interaction. UI stands for user interface interaction. Okay. Next question. What is a content provider in Android? Answer is a content provider component supplies data from one application to others or request. Such requests are handled by the methods of the content resolver class. A content provider can use different ways to store its data and the data can be stored in a database in files or even over a network okay so a content provider component supplies data from one application to others on request okay next question what are the notification available in android answer is first type of notification are available in android is tossed net notification and in this it will show a pop-up message on the surface of the window okay Second type of notification is a status bar notification. It will show notification on a status bar. And third one is dialogue notification. Okay. It's an activity related notification in this, in the Android studio and in Android development. Next question. What is container is a, what is container in Android? Answer is the container holds objects, widgets, labels, fields, icons and buttons etc. Okay, so containers hold any type of object, any type of widgets, any labels, any fields and many 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 more. Next question, what is ADB in Android? Very important question, answer is guys ADB stands for Android Development Bridge. Okay, and it acts as bridge between emulator and IDE. It executes remote shell commands to run application on an emulator. Okay. Next question. What is ANR in Android? Answer is ANR stands for application is not responding 
basically it's a dialog box that appears when the application is not responding okay any kind of error are found in your application so anr dialog boxes arise for not responding your application okay next question what is an adapter in android answer is the adapter is used to create child views to represent the parent view items okay this is very important in android studio next question what is shared preferences in android answer is shared preferences are the simplest mechanism to store the data in xml documents okay next question what are the key components in android architecture so answer is first one linux kernel second one libraries third one android framework and fourth one is android applications okay so they all are the key components in android architecture next question what does the intent filter do in android answer is intent filters are filter out the intents okay next question where layout are placed in android answer is in the layout folder layout are placed as xml files okay next question what is nine patch image tools in android this is very important question answer is we can change bitmap images in nine section as four corners four edges and an axis okay now next question how many dialog boxes to support in android so answer is android support different types of dialog box and they are first one alert dialog box second one progress dialog box third one data picker dialog box and next one is time picker dialog box okay next question what are the exceptions available in android so answer is first exception is inflate exception second one surface dot out of resource exception third one surface holder dot bad surface type exception and next one window manager dot bad token exception okay guys they all are the exceptions available in android application so now let's wind up this lecture see you in the next video guys if you like the video please hit the like button thanks for kindly suggest me new topics for more videos and thanks for watching this video guys wish you a very very all the best